the one and only, the notorious, the original Paco Rabanne Invictus. Very popular fragrance, very much hated fragrance in the fragrance community. I have it here today, let's discuss it. Believe it or not, I'm putting my hands up. I actually think this was one of the best fragrances that got me introduced into the fragrance genre in general. When I was a little mainstream newbie and I smelled this in department stores, I was blown away. I think this was like 2016 when I discovered this fragrance. I was a young and naive boy and I actually thought this was such a masterpiece. I loved how fresh but different this fragrance was. This wasn't a traditional 2000s woody fragrance like you find in Hugo Boss. However, nowadays I kind of agree with the fragrance community. A lot of people don't like Pecker Van Invictus because of how synthetic and a little bit basic it is. So I thought I'd add Invictus to our fragrance series where we find superior fragrance alternatives because on this channel we're all about moving past the overdone popular fragrances and going to higher quality stuff. Cue the intro. This is an uh, impression of Atrium Fragrances uh, by Omar, who is a YouTuber from School of Scents. He just released his new fragrance, which is called Mr. Maritime. Just, I, I love this stuff. This is brilliant. I can't wait to wear this when it's scorching hot, when it's, you know, when we're in the actual high heat summer. I just wanted to say my good sir, keep doing the hard work that you're doing. This is a nice summer hit. So before I give you guys my five suggested superior alternatives, let's discuss why Paco Rabanne Invictus is so popular in the mainstream, what it does right, and why it has its certain appeal. Paco Rabanne Invictus was released in 2013. Bear in mind guys, in this year, People didn't really know what the bubblegum genre was. Apart from maybe Paco Rabanne's One Million, the original, the bubblegum scent DNA of fragrances didn't really exist, and nothing as fresh as this existed in that genre. So bubblegum fragrances are sort of fragrances that are very bright, fresh, aromatic, with a fruity nuance to them, reminding you of the same aroma that a bubblegum might give. So Paco Rabanne Invictus is fruity, aquatic, aromatic, and fresh. It sort of has this laundry detergent effect to it. It's very clean and appealing in that way, but I do think it is those musks, that laundry detergent effect is what gives it this very basic and synthetic appeal. So I think for beginners, you'll still do well with this fragrance, but us fragrance collectors, us enthusiasts who want something better, these are my top five suggestions that sort of achieve a similar effect, but in a better way. Number one is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue O Intense. I'm getting the easy suggestion out of the way. In the fragrance community, when you're a beginner and you want an aquatic scent, people usually go for Paco Rabanne's Invictus or for Nautica's Voyage. Now, I don't recommend either of them because I think there are easy, better alternatives. So although I think Light Blue Intense is a very good beginner scent, I think it's good for people who are more advanced in general. I think this is a timeless DNA. It's gonna be one of my favorites for a very long time, probably for the rest of my life. This is more interesting. It has character. It has salty masculinity to it. That's what's so great about Light Blue. This is definitely designed for more mature gents. You can just tell from the marketing as well with David Gandhi. It has comparable longevity to Packer and Bands and Victus, but it just smells so much more natural, even though it's still, you know, you can tell it's a synthetic scent overall, but it's still more natural than Invictus, more handsome, and more interesting to smell. So I think it just has a very interesting salty, masculinity, oceanic musky effect with a really nice lemon yuzu in there as well. Yuzu is, is its own kind of citrus. I don't think it's a lemon necessarily, but yeah, I think it just has better ingredients, better scent profile, better idea behind light blue intense. It's an easy alternative to go for. Invictus also has this ozonic effect to it. Everyone knows this. So this is the fragrance that has a similar effect and I recommend as an alternative. Chanel's Allure Sport. It smells aquatic, ozonic, fresh, invigorating, but in a much classier, much more natural and smooth Chanel way. One of the best from Chanel as well. Similar longevity to Invictus, around eight hours with a medium projection. This is your very safe, handsome, clean signature you can wear all year round. I always say this is sort of like the perfect signature for a pilot because it just reminds me of being up in the air being ozonic, fresh, and very mass appealing. I will mention Aqua Di Gio Absolu. I used to own like a 125 ml bottle of this stuff. I think it's a good release. It's not one of my favorites from the Aqua Di Gio line, but if you want that bubblegum DNA done by Invictus, but made more mature, so it's very bubblegum-like, made more mature and more smooth with fantastic longevity, eight to 10 hours longevity with a medium projection, then Absolu is for you. It sort of is like Invictus has grown up. I think that's the kind of approach Aqua Di Gio or Giorgio Armani took with that fragrance. That fragrance kind of fell flat to me, but I think for people who love Invictus, you will still love it. I'm going to mention it, Rasasi Hawas. I feel like Hawas shows up in all of these alternatives videos nowadays, but it is just a very good alternative to Invictus. So 
Invictus came out in 2013, this came out in 2015. A lot of people say this copied Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua 2016, which obviously does not make sense because this came out before that. But I do think this took heavy inspiration from the original Invictus. It has the same bubblegum effect, but made a bit more beastly, a little bit more mature, a little bit more Middle Eastern with these notes of plum and cinnamon. I think it has more of an interesting note profile. It's still synthetic as well, but it just has a more appealing scent overall. I get 12 hours longevity with this bottle and a medium to loud projection. This is a head turner, achieving the similar effect of Invictus. So I just think this is straight up superior to Invictus. That's why on all my TikToks, I tell the young guys, this is Invictus on steroids. You don't need Invictus if you have this. Bear in mind, some people get blue juice, some people get gray juice, some people get purple juice like this. Um, this is purple, by the way, but just the camera might not show it. But yeah, I don't really know what's going on with, with Rosasi's stuff anymore. <laughs> I think generally it's still considered a strong fragrance. I don't think it's been reformulated in that way, but I don't know why they're playing Power Rangers with all the different versions of Hawas. Either way, look it up, see if you can get it at a good price in a retailer near you. And finally, a fragrance I think a lot of people sleep on. It is Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime. It's not really a similar scent profile to Invictus, but you can be worn in similar occasions. This is basically for my recommendations for people who want more natural, more niche-like perfumery as an alternative to Invictus. You've grown up, you're done with that kind of young man stuff, and you want more interesting fragrances. This is simple, but it's very classy and smooth. The main star notes here being finger lime. So that is sort of like the caviar of the lime world. So take the most uh, appealing lime notes you've ever smelled and just elevate that to the caviar of the lime world. Very beautiful lime note, that finger lime. Beautiful clean musks and a dry vetiver. This is not really a vetiver fragrance, it's just they just use vetiver to kind of uh, get that very dry but clean and invigorating effect. This is not unsafe, this is extremely safe, extremely unisex as well. This is just a very classy, Simple but well done citrus fragrance. I get six hours longevity with medium projection. One of the best affordable entry level niche houses in general, and this is just one of their best in my opinion. This and Pacific Rock Moss are two of my favorites from the house. And to finish off, if you want a fruity aquatic, you need to get our release, Mr. Maritime by Atrium Fragrance. This is already out in the UK. It's going to be out in all other regions that we serve in the next few weeks. If you want a mango amber aquatic, you can check out Mr. Maritime, our latest warm weather release in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching guys. What do you think? Is it time to move on past Invictus? I think it's still going to be a popular fragrance for Paco Rabanne. It's probably still selling well, but it's 2013 when it came out. So I just think it's been 10 years now. Maybe it's time to move on. It does smell like it is a product of its time. It smells a little bit outdated to my nose. Even Paco Rabanne himself aren't really releasing the original Invictus anymore in that sort of flanker line. They're not doing fresh Invictus fragrances. They're doing stuff like Victory and Victory Elixir, which is more of a sweet fragrance and very different to the original Invictus. So if even Paco Rabanne don't believe in their original idea anymore, is it time for us to also move on? I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other parts of this series. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.